with Shimei. Curse David. Let him curse me. Because that's what God said. Now, in verse 12, look at this one. Look at how David made it into a positive tense, though he was cursed. Look at this. It may be that the Lord will see my distress and repay me with good for cursing I am receiving today. Amen? Because he knew that whatever curse that will be fallen unto you, whatever curse that will be stoned unto you, talbog sa akin, balik sa iyo. Amen? Amen? Nakuha po ba natin? Hindi, po, hindi ka pwede i-curse sa ibang tao. Because that curse is already removed. Amen? In the name of Jesus. Amen? And God, because many people hate you, many people hate you, God will bless you. Hallelujah. Because you are one of the sons and daughters of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, let me just end up this things with the famous story of Jesus walking on the water. Jesus was walking on the water when the disciples saw him. See, when Jesus was walking on the water, the disciples saw a ghost. Remember this one? They saw a ghost instead of a solution. They saw Jesus as a ghost instead of a solution. And then Jesus said to them, but straight away Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And so, when Jesus said these things, Peter, who was one of the, uh, shall we call, the most uh, active among the disciples, he said, Lord, is that you? He said, Lord, is that you? And then, can I come to you? See, this one, Peter was so thinking differently. Now, look at this one. They were having a storm in the boat. And we know that the boat will float. Amen? And the water outside is trying to come inside. Look at this one. The water is outside. And they are, the water is trying to come inside because of the storm. Amen? Now, look at this one. Sometimes fear, which is outside, it tries to come in to us. And when this fear comes to us, definitely paralyzes you. Like the 12 disciples, only Peter was able to speak. These 11 disciples were there doing nothing. Just contented of what is happening. But Peter wanted to see supernatural things. Who among you here wanted to see supernatural things? Amen. He made a statement, Lord, is that you? Amen? When you said these things, when you hear these words, as God was saying to them, Lord, is that you? And God will say to you, be give good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Now look at this. God said these things to us also. That when you are in circumstances, you are in family problem, when you are in financial difficulty, when you are sick, when you are in distress, God is telling you, be of good cheer. Rejoice always. Be of good cheer. God is giving us how to overcome the challenges in life. Be of good cheer. Lord, even if I am sick, I am good cheer. Yes. Be of good cheer because God will heal you. Amen. Amen. Be of good cheer. Although you have a financial problem, because God will give you that financial breakthrough. Amen. 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 You just believe. Amen. Amen. And then he said, Be of good cheer. This is how you do in the challenges of life. Be of good cheer. And then he said, Who he was? It is I. It is I. God was saying, it is I. And then he said, what to do? What to do is this. Be not afraid. It is I. God is telling these disciples and even Peter. Yes, Peter took that challenge. He wants the supernatural thing. Yes, when his eyes were speaks to Jesus, he was able to walk. Am I right? And when we all know this story, when Peter was setting his eyes to Jesus. He was able to walk. And when he was able to walk, at the middle of that, he, he doubted. 
Because the storm coming in, amen, fear coming in to his life. And when fear comes in, it cripples, it paralyzes him that made him sink. But look at this, brothers and sisters. Though he sunk that night, Peter, Jesus is still ready to take his hands and lift up Peter. Right. And then Jesus just keep on saying to him, be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. Why? Because God said, be strong and be courageous. He knew that in this world, fear is one of the heaviest enemy that we have. That's one of the, the, the closest enemy that we have, fear. And that's why God is saying to you and me today, fear not. Though, like Peter, we sink. Though we trample down. Though we, we, we lie down. We, 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 we become loser. But in the end, we will never be loser. Because Jesus is ready to pick us up. Amen. Amen. And Jesus is telling us, this is what we are going to do when you tie up with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Be not afraid. Be of good cheer. It is I. Amen. Amen. And let us see. In summary, this faith is not knowing what the future holds. But who holds your future? Amen. Amen. And fear not. Fear not. Because fear not for the people's sake. Fear not for your own sake. Fear not for the Lord's sake. Because the name of the Lord is at stake. Hallelujah. When the name is the, of the Lord is at stake, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. He will always be with you and you will always be victorious. And then he says, fear not for the enemy's sake. Yes, many people will hate you. But I will bless you. Amen. So that these people who hate you will also see the glory of God in you. Will also see signs, wonders, and miracles that God has bestowed to you and me. So that they will also be in the kingdom of God doing their assignments doing the ministry, sharing the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us all stand as we close.